Hi, welcome to today's video. In this video, I'll go over how I found my niche for my Etsy shop. This has been a highly requested video for my poll, so I hope you enjoy it. I remember when I first started out on Etsy, it was overwhelming to see so many sellers and shops out there selling the same thing. That's why finding the right niche is key to standing out and being successful on Etsy. I'll be covering how I researched my niche ideas, evaluated if they're profitable, and how I finalized my niche. I'll also be going over a live demo on how all this works later on in the video. So let's get started. So what is a niche? If you're an Etsy seller, you may have heard the term niche thrown around a lot, but what exactly does it mean and why is it important for your shop? Well, a niche is a specific area of focus within a larger market. So it's like a unique and specialized product or service that caters to a particular group of people with special needs or interests. So let's say you're an Etsy seller who specializes in digital planners. Instead of creating a generic planner template that can be used for any purpose, you can create a digital planner that caters to a specific niche or target market. So for example, you can create a digital planner specifically designed for teachers. This planner could also include sections for lesson plans and grading sheets and student information. And it could also be customized pages for special subjects like math, science, or English. So when we say that we want to find a niche and why it's important for Etsy sellers, it's because you want to differentiate yourself from the competition. There's like over a million of active sellers on Etsy, so standing out can be a challenge. And there's only so much that ads can do. So when you're focusing on a specific niche, you can really carve out a unique space for your shop and attract customers who are specifically interested in what you have to offer. So let me show you what my thought process is like when I start looking for a niche on Etsy. So the first thing you want to do is do some research and I like looking on the actual platform because um, you get to see what's popular on Etsy right now and you want to think about what categories interest you. So I like looking on the platform because the search bar will autocomplete and sometimes will give you some trending products right now. And while you're doing that, I would like to think what my interests and skills are. So do you have a particular hobby or talent that you can translate into a product? And also what kind of bandwidth you have for your shop if this is a side hustle. So I chose Canva templates because I love being creative and doing graphic design. And it's also something I can produce in a short amount of time because I have a full-time job and kids to look after. So my time is very limited. So once you've found some niches that you like, look at your potential competition. Take a look at what other sellers is selling in the same category and see if you can find a gap in the market they can fill. So after looking right on the Etsy platform, I like to use keyword research tools to find potential niches that you might not have thought of. And I really like using these tools because it's such a time saver for me. You can look on Etsy all you want sometimes, but it will never give you the exact numbers of sales and how the competition is like. So I really like using these tools. And I start using um, tools like eRank and Etsy Hunt because they are free to start. So I'll go over how I will use these tools later on in the video. So once you've done some research on a list of potential niches that you want to start your business on, it's time to narrow it down. So consider um, how much uh, demand and profitability you would have for each potential niche. And you want to make sure that it, there's enough interest in your niche to make it worth your time and effort. So this is why I recommend using tools because you will never find the exact numbers that you need to do these kind of research right on Etsy. Etsy is just a marketplace and sometimes yes the sellers will enable a view where you can see what has sold in their shop but that takes a lot of time to kind of weed out um, what they're selling and how well it's doing. Sometimes results are just misleading, so you want to find something that will give you the right metrics to make the best decision for your shop. I want to show you guys how I do it um, in real time. So the first thing I would do is go into Etsy and put in 
a niche that I want to look into. So for this example, I'll look into the real estate niche. So as you can see here, this I have my tools with me, um, which are working hard. This um, it shows the search results, and that's from Sales Samurai, and this that's not loading quite yet is from um, Etsy Hunt. So I just have a lot of plugins right now. It's kind of working overtime, but I will leave the links in my description if you want to check out some of these tools. So I like um, the Sell Samurai tool for this because it shows me right away what the search volume is like. So I would and it kind of just gives you an idea of how Etsy would also um, populate their autocomplete. So the top one is definitely the higher search volume and then um, the lower ones are at the bottom, but it looks like it's still a mix here. Um, so if I go real estate, you'll see this sorted out by search volume two. And so the highest one here is actually the real estate marketing. So let's go into that and see what we can get from there. So in here, um, you can see this overlay is actually from Etsy Hunt and it's free to start. So I have that running right now. Um, and they also have a batch analysis, which I really like. So it's hard to see with all these pictures and overlay sometimes. So I would just quickly go into batch analysis and then this will show, like analyze the whole search page for me. And I'll usually search by um, the seven days day sale and see which one is actually doing well, which is actually um, this one, I think. And it just gives me an idea of um, how many 70 sales there are, and this is quite a lot, which would be a good product. Um, and then up here, it will give you the averages. So average price is $34, which is really good for a digital product. And average seven day sales is 3.6. So each week they get around three, four um, sales. Um, and yeah, this just gives me an idea of the price range of the products and um, how their weekly sales is going, which it looks like it's actually doing really well for social media bundles. So now I'll go in um, and search. Uh, so let's take a look at this one. You can click in here. And I will also look at and see if there are best sellers, best sellers um, to see how they're doing also. So this one, seven day sales is six. And then this one was the one that was on top of the um, Etsy hunt list. So we'll look at um, the analytics for this. So this one is, um, it was listed at the end of last year. So it's still relatively new and it's getting 21 day sale, which is quite amazing. Um, and then you get to see all the tags that they're using. And if you want to look in further to see how this has performed since they released it, you can go in here. And you can see that they're doing pretty well, like there's consistent sales going on. So this would be a good product to look into, um, Instagram posts and stuff. And this is templates for Canva. Um, and let's look at the bestseller that we saw and compare it. So this one's a little bit older, but it looks like... Um, it might be doing better with the Etsy bestseller badge, but maybe it's just because they've been um, around for longer. Past six months, that's a pretty good track record. 
Um, so last seven day sales was six, which is great. Um, I guess the other one was just pretty new for it to have a bestseller badge. But um, this is also $25 Canadian, which is pretty good. Um, let's see what that would be in American. So you can change the currency down here. And it's still, you know, $19 Canadian, or um, $19 US, which is a really good price. Um, and then if you go into here and see their sales record, and it's still, you know, consistent sales. So I would say this is um, a really good product to look into in the realtor um, marketing space. So what I want to expand um, my products in the niche. I want to go into E-Rank and see what other things are available in that niche. So I would just search real estate in here and see what else comes up that um, are a good fit. So in here when you search it will give you a whole bunch of other related searches and it gives you an overall um, statistics for the keywords. So this broad keyword, there are 7,000 searches each month, which is a great search volume. That's why it's green. And this is red because the, it's a high competition, but that's also just because it's a very broad um, keyword right now. So if you look at the related searches, what you want to do is look at um, things that are all dark green. So dark green, here means that um, pretty much anything um, it looks like above 1050 um, searches a month would be dark green and considered a good search volume. Um, you probably want something a little bit more um, more than like 2000 maybe and for the Etsy competition this obviously is a broad keyword, so it's red. But if you go further down, um, you want something that's also dark green, which means it's a lower competition. And from what it looks like right now, it looks like the real estate postcard is a good um, product to do. Um, and here, I like this because um, it'll show you month to month how um, sales is or the search trend is doing so you don't want something that is um, just one um, something like this because it could just mean it's seasonal you might peak in like November but nothing else so um, you want something that's a little bit more consistent so that means um, searches are always happening on Etsy so um, once you find another keyword that you like, I usually go into analyze and just see how, like just in more detail, what that keyword is like. And this will also give you a little bit more of an idea what other popular tags there are, um, which could also be product ideas. Um, and in here you can see that yeah this is what we're looking for tags is just um, what shows up on the listing and it looks like real estate signs might be something to look into too um, so yeah, you can toggle this between popular tags and related searches. So there are two different results. Um, related searches are what people are searching for and popular tags are what people are putting in their listings. And in here it'll give you like a price range. It looks like it's peaking around $5. But we have seen, um, well yeah, this is the postcard so it's peaking around $5. But um, that's still a pretty good price I think for just the postcard template. 
And yeah, so this is how I do part of my research um, to find my niche. And I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, it is great to have these tools, so it saves me some time. So I guess within like the last few minutes, we've already um, found a pretty good product to look into. And I would just keep building on that and um, see what other products you can come up with um, in real estate to see if that is a viable um, niche to be in. You want something that um, you can expand on and um, that it's always um, kind of in demand it's not seasonal so I wouldn't do like a niche that is just Christmas unless that's something that you really want to do because that will only give you a lot of sales between but like near the end of the year so um, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial today and I will see you in the next one